Over the years, I've made more than my fair share of Black Clover videos on this channel, and I'd like to think that my opinions on the show are pretty solid. I think it grew into one of the better shonens while it was airing, all the openings bang, and the cast is fleshed out and interesting. However, I do have one deep, dark secret hiding away in my Black Clover closet. Well, besides not thinking the show has always been good. You see, I've always been a tsundere guy, and as the years have gone by, that hasn't really changed. Asuna, Rin, Mai, the pipeline is there and it is strong. So you would naturally think that Noelle is my Black Clover best girl and Noelle and Asta is my ship of choice. It makes sense, right? She blushes, she causes physical harm, she says, and she's also nice when she wants to be. Bonus points for Twin Tails, a simple B more W for our leading lady. Except, Noelle is spelled with two L's. And that's minimum what she's taken head to head with the full cast. Woo! Y'all want entitled rich girls when we have shape-shifting demon girls, alcoholic witches, and pure earnest healers on this roster? Gun to my head, pick a best girl right now. It's probably Nero. Because, I mean, come on. You are all insane if you think I'm saying no to short-haired magic Tifa, but give her horns. Nero is wonderful and I relish every moment she spends on screen. But that's not my actual dark secret. I think Nero is actually a pretty popular choice for best girl, and I even ran a poll here on YouTube last week and she got a very respectable 30%, second only to Noelle's 46. The actual most unhinged opinion I hold about Black Clover is that my ship of choice, until this goddamn leaky raft sinks, is Mimosa and Asta, and I refuse to budge on that fact. Mimosa is caring, sweet, and doesn't have a family that has tried to disown her on multiple occasions. She has, well, she doesn't have a normal brother, but I'd still take Fabulous Boy over these two any day. And at the very least, her extended family is very cool. I know all you Mario Leona simps out there agree with me. Importantly, Mimosa is honest with herself and knows she has a crush on Asta, and girl, that's a whole lot more than you can say for Miss Royalty over here. Noelle has had every chance to deepen her relationship with Asta or, I don't know, even admit to herself that she likes him? And despite spending basically every single day with him, the most she's done is star in an ambiguous ending theme. Magicula. How about you Magicula land a date with this man? She would rather spend half her time on screen reminding us that she is in fact royalty. Did you know that she's royalty? She's a royal, don't forget that. Instead of making any meaningful conversation with her man of choice. How has Mimosa, who's only in like a fifth of the episodes, have about as good of a rapport with Asta as Noel does? In fact, it might be better because she doesn't constantly send him flying away like some sort of embarrassed Blastoise. Nero literally silently sat on Asta's head for a hundred episodes, and somehow that's still more action than Noelle has ever taken. Nero, to her credit, has the argument that she's always been there for Asta, and they have that really genuine scene at the end of the elf arc. Also, as I already stated, I really like her. So I'll let you Nero shippers off the hook, for now. We're at the point where Rebecca has had more meaningful romantic interaction with Asta than the main female lead, including a scene which I desperately need to talk about where her younger sibling tells her to jump Asta while he's staying over at their house. I'm sorry, I think about this scene way too much. Why does she say that? What would have happened if she did do that? Why is this like the only explicit mention of sex in the entire series? What is going on in Rebecca's household? Noelle could never. To drag this train back on the tracks, all I'm saying here is, has Asta ever saved Noelle from being crucified? I don't think so. If you want the closest to an actual rationale I have for my mental illness, it's that I think Mimosa's healing magic and Asta's insano style combat injuries are a very synergetic combo. She's also already shown that she is as kind and open-minded as Asta is, and I just think there'd be a good match. Also, she doesn't cause him physical harm constantly and just thinks he's cute and brave. 
And if you think that last part makes me a hypocrite because I like Sundares, shut up, this is my video. I'm having a goof all in good fun, but I do want to establish that I do think Noelle is a great character and I really like her. I think she really embodies the series theme of working incredibly hard to achieve your goals and is actually a nice foil for Asta's hard work and Yuno's natural talent. She was born with incredible power, but had to go through immense hardships to harness it. She really captures the idea that peasant or royal were all the same, even if she would like you to know that she is in fact royalty. At the end of the day, I know that I'm fighting a losing battle. In fact, I'm not even fighting a battle. The story is very clearly set up where Noel is the main and only real love interest for Asta. He's just too dumb to realize that at the moment. Or who knows, maybe the manga has already made strides in this department and I don't know yet. I doubt it, but you know, she has to confess at some point. While we're at it, I just want to say I think Yami and Vanessa is a better ship than Yami and Charlotte, but even saying that kind of makes me feel bad given how hard Charlotte is working for this. And I'm all for fun ships, clearly, but in the scripting process for this video, I have discovered that Vanica x Asta is a thing, and thanks, I hate it. Y'all are coming for me for simply stating the truth when we have these devil worshippers over here. Regardless, I'm going to go out on a wild limb and say I'm in the minority here with my Black Clover ship choice, and that's okay. To the Nero and even the Noel shippers, your ships are valid, even if they're wrong. I think the moral of the story here is that battle shonens aren't really about the romance, but the romance can definitely be a fun conversation to have when it's done well, or even when it's not really done well. Black Clover is a great show no matter the infinite levels of romantic denial Noelle goes through, and remember, as always, that Mimosa is better.